Hi folks, Bob Dale for Southern Remarketing in Jackson, Mississippi. If you, those of you who watch our videos, we've got I, apparently several hundred thousand followers on YouTube and, and watch our videos and that. You know that the last two or three years we've started selling more and more and more diesel trucks because we like them. They're such bargains. They're such value. <coughs> to my mind, they're the best value on the secondary market of any vehicle out there. A nice truck that's been well taken care of. We have sold several hundred of them. Our customers like them. We like them. Uh, today we're going to list a truck, folks, that you, when you, whoever buys it will see that we've had it for, I guess, eight, nine months. It's a, uh, uh, the title will reflect that. I have been driving and I was going to buy it to, to, to keep and just bang around in, pull my boat and play golf and, you know, go to hunting camp and that, but I found a razor I'd really like to have better, so I'm going to sell this and, and uh, uh, keep the razor. That said, this is a really, really nice little old truck. It is a uh, 2003, 2003 Chevrolet, folks. It's a 2500 HD Duramax, 2003, 2500 HD Duramax. It is an LT, has every option, has heated seats, has navigation. It's got a brand new set of tires we put on it, center caps and all that when I was gonna keep it. And usually when you say brand new, that covers a lot of ground. But in this These, case, they are brand they new. They are brand new. It had a brand new windshield in it. But now when I drive it around Mississippi, it's got a, two or three little pecks in it. So no cracks. It's telling you no cracks. We're not going to fool with that. But somebody can get here and see it. You can see it's a pretty truck. You can see it's still got the little uh, tits on the tires. That's how new they are. Uh, or teats. Teats. <laughs> As they said in the Unforgiven. They cut her teeth off. That's a uh, touchscreen navigation system with a remote control. Got OnStar. Um, it's a non-smoker's truck, folks. It doesn't have any odors and all that. Got power. And, uh, all the buttons, windows, door locks, tilt, cruise, and stereo. You can see how nice it is here. Just a, just a nice truck. They don't get much nicer, folks. You can see no paint working all that. Got a got couple. A scratch here. Got a scratch here. Absolutely no rust. Now, it's got a new bed liner, but it also has underneath, if you want it, a B&W turnover ball set up. That's, they're about 1200 new or take it off, sell it. Gets. This is a really nice truck, folks. My name's Bob Dale. My phone number is 601-218-1223. 601-218-1223. If you have a question about this truck, give me a call. If you want to tell me what you want to give for it before the sale's over, give me a call and I'll try to sell it. Please. It's got a backup camera. Of course, as usual, no spare, but it does have a backup camera. That liner's in it perfect. Now, it says 4x4, four four, but in 03, they didn't sell a Z71 HD, but it's got the skid plate, it's got the limited slip diffs, it's got all the Z71 it's got three equipment. Four little pings along here under this, folks, people unloading stuff, and I don't think that was me, but it's there. It doesn't hurt anything. It's not obtrusive, but if you pick it, you can see it. We're not selling a concourse truck, we're just selling a nice truck. Power on both sides, I showed you over there. Uh, we put mats in it, the carpet's good. Uh, this right here, I throw, Dan fusses at me, I throw bullets and I throw fishing tackle and I throw everything in the world, hatchets and knives up here to ride, and it skins that off. So that's what that little place is about there. But you can see it, it's got a good appearance. Stands up, it's only got, I think, 171,000. 178. Something like that. It doesn't have many miles at all. This is a nice truck, folks. If you want a truck, you know, you, you can go buy a truck like this for about 65000 And you go, oh, Bob, they're not, the, go, go, go try one. I took a friend of mine down to the local Chevrolet dealer, and, and the Chevrolet dealer's a friend of mine. I worked for him when I was much younger and bought a, a gas burning truck, not equipped like this, at, at basically cost, and it was nearly $50,000. So. Uh, uh, they are stupefyingly expensive. Don't know how they sell them, 
because you can buy a truck like this, it'll do everything a new one will, plus except smell good for about two weeks. The only thing, difference is this truck right here, if you take care of it five years from now, will bring what it will right now. You go, ah, oh, come on. I'm telling you, look what I just sold an O2 for. I just sold an O2 two-wheel drive for over $10,000. It's a four-wheel drive, got a good look to it. Dan's gonna do your ride and drive. You'll see how it do it. You are gonna do it in a minute. But it's a, it's a nice truck and it's a bargain and it's a value. And, and when you buy it, you can do anything with it you can do with a new one except lose about forty-five or $50,000. I mean, this truck right here is not a depreciating asset sitting in your front yard. And, and you, you don't have to mortgage your house to buy it. I mean, I, I, I can't picture what people, uh, I see driving these trucks up and down the road who buy them, can't picture what their payments must be. I mean, for 10 of their payments, you buy this truck. Anyway, it's a great truck. We're gonna list it, we're gonna sell it. It's a 2003 Chevrolet. It's a 2500 HD Duramax. Four wheel drive with a Z71 equipment and all that. It's an LT with leather, every, all of that. You saw it, it's, it's, it looks great cosmetically. It's sitting on a brand new set of tires. I mean, this is a great truck, folks, and it's gonna really be a bargain. So if you're interested in it, bid on it. If you really like it a lot, give me a call, and we'll get together and I'll sell it to you. Thanks for watching this video. We appreciate it see you so much. Our many thousands of customers around the world we appreciate your business. We look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. Hi folks, Dan Dow here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this truck. Now I'm going to take you on a quick test drive. First, I want to show you a couple things. First thing, these batteries, almost brand new, 11 to 13, less than a year old. The three-year free replacement, high dollar batteries from all of them. Absolutely no blow-by. Now you may notice a little stuff here it had a bad belt we changed the belt and it's kind of ate up the whole belt but there's no smoke coming out of this oil field too now a steady stream of smoke not that big a deal as long as it's not puffing but this one doesn't even have that absolutely no smoke and more importantly i can set this oil cap down it doesn't blow off that means it has absolutely no blow by now if that oil cap wouldn't have stayed on that would have meant you've got worn out piston rings that's letting engine compression get into the cylinders and give you uh, what's called blow by, which is what happens when you got a worn out engine. But not the case here. I'll turn this radio down. You can see it's a touch screen navigation system, has the uh, map. Now there's a backup camera on this truck and I'm not sure if it's hooked up to the radio properly, we're gonna try and figure that out so the backup camera will work too, but uh, I can't make any promises, but we're gonna do our best. But you can see the map, all that stuff works fine. It's got the uh, automatic dim and rear view mirror with the built-in compass and thermometer. Got your overhead console. Now you'll see there is one light on for the, uh, the ABS sensor. And we've got one ordered. We're going to put that on. So before you pick it up, and hopefully by the later today even, it'll have the uh, ABS sensor on on the right front wheel. So we're going to have that taken care of. We just want to go ahead and do the video and stuff. You can see this is an LT. It's got the heated seats, memory seats. It's got extra power outlets, cup holders. There's a remote that goes with the uh, stereo. All that stuff does just like it should. It's got, now this is a new windshield we put in when we first got the truck, but we've had it about six or eight months. So it's got one tiny little rock pick right there, you'll see. Now, you'll have to excuse the shaky camera work because I'm filming with one hand, driving with the other on some of the worst roads in Jackson, Mississippi. But the truck itself has a great ride and drive. Absolutely no issues with any of that runs and drives perfect goes down the road just like it should we can't find anything that doesn't work properly it's even got the little uh lights built into your turn signals i don't know if you can see them flashing there but it's got them this truck cranks up it runs perfect hot or cold 
uh, you know, on a Ford, you want to hear it run hot, but on a Chevrolet, on a Duramax like this, you want to hear it run cold because that's when they, I mean, you want to, let me start over. On a Ford, you want to hear it run cold because if it's got injector or FICOM problems, they're going to show up when the uh, engine is cold. But on the Duramax, you want to hear it run and crank hot because if it's got injector problems or other fuel related issues, they'll act up when it's hot. Um, but not the case with this truck. It's all good on it. Only 178,000 miles. Now, I will point out, and Dad may have mentioned it, when we first got this truck, the odometer didn't work. It was just blank. And um, only two of the gauges work. This is a common issue on Chevrolet. You can search GM speedometer uh, repair and see what I'm talking about but we had the cluster taken out had everything fixed and um, all that redone so the mileage started working and so we're, we're confident that the mileage is mileage accurate uh, but all the, the needles and gauges all that stuff works um, absolutely no issues with any of that this truck we also we bought it um, and dad was was thinking about keeping it but he ended up wanting to find him a deal on a four-wheeler he liked better so we sold we, we were gonna sell this so he can pay off his four new four-wheeler but uh, it's got a brand new set of tires on it I mean these tires have got less than a thousand miles on them that's how new they are uh, we put a brand new set of center caps on it like I said, when we bought it, we put a new windshield in it, but it's got it's got a little rock peck there, and I just noticed, I don't know if you can see it right there on the very bottom is a rock peck, and well, hey, now that I'm nitpicking, over by the post, there's a couple little, more little tiny pecks. It's just, it's something you can't avoid here in Mississippi. Now, we don't have rust, we don't have salt on the roads. This is a rust-free Mississippi truck, but uh, one thing we do have is gravel, on these country roads and you get you know rock picks on your windshield can't be held but anyway that being said you can see we're going down the road this truck gets right up to speed uh, we're doing 65 working just like it should I just set the cruise took my foot off the gas cruise works I let go horn works uh, all that stuff works if you want to fly in drive at home you can I wouldn't hesitate to get in it and go anywhere. Uh, you know, we'll pick you up at the airport, no extra charge. You can fly at home. Um, oh heck, I just I just noticed that. If you hear a little extra noise, that window's cracked. I forgot to roll it up, but it's uh, the truck itself is quiet. Um, if you want to have it shipped, you know, look at all the pictures, watch the video. We don't hide anything. Uh, we list them just like they come, so don't have to, we don't have to worry about any hidden issues because we're not going to risk bad feedback over you know not pointing out a dent or a ding or something here or there that's uh, acting up so we point it all out so when it rolls off the transporter you'll be happy you won't have any uh, bad surprises I'll be good um, of course this is a Duramax so you can tell by how quiet it is that it's a Duramax these uh, aren't nearly as loud as Fords or Chevrolets. You can see the map. We'll make a right hand turn and you'll see it uh, make a turn with us. All that works just like it should. Navigation. Got the uh, little defaults. You got auxiliary inputs, Bluetooth. Uh, it'll play you can plug in your USB to your phone or whatever. Um, it does all that stuff like it should. Just a, uh, you know, not a brand new truck, not a perfect truck, but a pretty nice old truck. If you have any questions about it, give me a call. My number's 601-376-9869. Or if you want to buy it, want to make us an offer, talk pricing, call my dad. His number is 601-218-1223. We appreciate you watching our video and taking the time to hear what we got to say. And we we'll look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thanks.